right, we're back with another episode of Milton Daily Homes. We have a buyer class coming up in two days. Sent an email about it uh, yesterday. I'll put another link down below and also uh, in the daily email. So today, not a whole lot out there, but we do have um, probably the best thing about today is some of the old Milton stuff for not much more than land value. So let's talk about them. Now, I was confused about this one on Childs 4249. They said that they were actually canceling and relisting it. So I showed this and I got a note from the agent right before I showed it and said, we're bringing it down to 409. But then I see the price come back at 4249, which is where it was before. So I don't know if there was another change of mind after that. Um, Weird that they put condo fees as $0, but in the description they say there's low condo fees of $353. So, uh, inside it needs work. There's no doubt about it. It has a lot of either original elements or uh, things that need fixing up. Uh, the finished version, there's one for sale right now at 475 that doesn't appear to be selling. Um, there is probably a threshold closer to the mid fours for something that looks pretty good. And this is a nice area. There's, uh, it's probably one of the nicer looking condo townhouse complexes in Milton. It backs onto, there's no neighbors behind. Uh, it backs onto the parking lot of the seniors activity center. Uh, I think you've got the fire hall behind here. And this whole area is, uh, is zoned for urban growth center. So, you may see some changes a little bit more long term in uh, in this area. So this one on short read is definitely playing the quality game and it's just a matter of how much somebody would pay for the extra uh, finishes. So this model is a Cherry Hill. Uh, it's also called Nashfield, about 1050 square feet. Uh, you can see right from the front, they've taken good care of it. Uh, inside, they've painted the that side of the door red, which is nice. I mean, it's you know, that color there, and then you've got red on the inside, just to give it that extra pop, and then you've got the matching pillows. This is all built in. Obviously, none of this stuff is standard for Madame House. They have replaced the tile here. There's no standard tile through Madame like that. I've always said, if your laundry room looks good, the rest of the house is probably gonna look good too. These are upgraded pickets here. Uh, you can see the higher baseboard coming up the stairs. So almost everything about this home is not original. Uh, there's a nice little built-in here. I mean, this is really, really nice. Now, what usually sells for 540, is homes that are probably 300 square feet larger. Like McDowell also looks good, not this good. Uh, but you can get uh, an end unit facing a park with 1350 square feet uh, for the same kind of price. So light fixtures, they've extended this bar out. They've put extra storage on this side here. Um, they've added some extra pantry space right here. Uh, none of this stuff is standard from the builder. It even looks like the dishwasher right here uh, may have kind of a front cover on it. That could be garbage, it's hard to tell. It might be garbage on this side. One of these is probably a dishwasher to, to just sum that up. Um, nice looking backsplash too. Uh, gas range we don't see very often in these homes. Uh, when people say, here's the thing, sometimes people say, oh, 100,000 upgrades, 50,000 upgrades. Most of the time I look and go, mm hmm, this home, they didn't even say it, but you can just tell. And uh, beautiful light fixture, you've got some wainscoting on the walls here. Uh, two bedrooms upstairs, that bath has been totally redone. And that is your, looks like a walk-in closet. Uh, even put some turf on the, uh, the balcony. So there's no backyard in this home. It's just the front yard. It's kind of what you see is what you get here. Um, I think they're gonna get this, to be honest. I really do. I think that this home looks that good that somebody's probably willing to sacrifice two or 300 square feet to get all the finishes that they've put in. And what they did, is not cheap it's they did not skimp on this one they did it right so this one on stover is a pretty good price it looks like the roof's been done you can see just a little bit of um just a different texture and a different color than what we see uh standard so that's a good thing 
Uh, you also see it in this description too. So your roof, your air conditioning, your, your furnace is probably original if they didn't mention it, which is the next thing to go. And then your windows should last you probably at least another five years. Um, all brick, end unit croft side, 1360 square feet. The, uh, the carpet looks like it's pretty rough um, on the staircase anyway. And, you know, the rest of the home is, you know, it's pretty standard for a croft side model. Uh, finished basement here too. It's a good price for this home. You're getting a lot of value for uh, the price. You get a decent sized yard. Anytime you get a Madame townhouse, some of the other builders, what they did was they put a hallway from the garage leading to the backyard. So there's a direct entry from your garage to your yard. So if you have a lawnmower, for example, you can just bring it right through. The Madame uh, philosophy, I wouldn't say it's better or worse, it's just different. They said, look, I'm not going to narrow the living space by putting a hallway through to the backyard. What we're going to do is we're going to allow a right-of-way access, which is why there's a gate here. So in a row of townhouses, typically there's six of them, um, the, the next door neighbor and the next door neighbor after that, so one, two, three, so the, the one half of it, uh, they would have access to their yard through yours. So there's like a three foot right of way uh, that they could use if needed. Now, nobody likes crossing. It's uncomfortable for the owner of this home and the other house. So a lot of times what we see is the gates here, but people end up putting a garden shed or something else so they don't need to deal with that stuff. Anyway, that's what, why you see the gates there. It's unfortunate that a lot of agents don't tell people about that until they actually move in. They go, wait, hold on, why is there a guy in my backyard? That's why. So if you don't like that, you go to another builder, uh, but given that Madame's probably built half of New Milton, it's one of those things that you just see it a lot. Okay, so Wakefield is up next. So Wakefield is in a nice little location. Uh, so it's 133 Wakefield right here. It backs onto a little parkette right here. There is a cemetery right here. So we call that Quiet Neighbors. Um, that was a bad joke, wasn't it? Uh, this is that whole Child's Drive development here. This is the Seniors Activity Center. This is a, a quadrant that uh, there's proposals and, and initial drafts of, of ideas of what this entire area could look like. Um, just north of here, if my screen refreshes, which it's probably not, that's the Milton Mall right there. You've got Main Street. So you could actually uh, walk to downtown. You could walk to uh, Edio's, for example, probably less than 10 minutes here at Adios. So it is a convenient location to get to a lot of different things, uh, which is great. So this is land value here. So it's uh, 60 by 110 feet, maybe 92 on one side. If you go back to the actual drawing, it may not be a perfect square. Uh, you got, you've got like original tiles from this home uh, you're more than 50 years old. Um, you're probably ripping out a ton of stuff in here. What you're left with on kind of the high side threshold for a well done bungalow with a detached garage, we saw a couple of them go even as high as eight or 900,000 if they're really done well. Uh, but I think the safe zone is you put about 100, 150 into this one and you've got just a good solid home fully done um, shingles have been done. I always look for things like that. Like, hey, did, are the, how, do I have to replace the roof and the furnace? I'd rather do flooring and kitchen and paint, which are high return items versus low return like roofs and structural things. Um, either way, I think this one's a good price. It's pretty much land value for $5.99. Now I'm going to jump over to the Ortis list right now just because this one's it's a perfect time to talk about this one on Kingsley Court. Uh, about 10 feet less width, so you're 50 by 112, uh, pretty quiet street. It's very similar to uh, Wakefield in the sense that there's a little parkette right in the middle of this. There's a kind of a, not round, but kind of there's a court and there's a park right there uh, in between that big loop. So inside, 
actually let me do this let me blow this up a little bit uh, you can see inside there's you know a very basic kitchen it's not a very big kitchen this entire main floor is just over a thousand square feet uh, and then because it's a bungalow you have pretty much a thousand square feet down below too so I don't know that might be down in the basement it might be upstairs you also have a if you look in one of the pictures here you'll see that there's a back door here stairs coming down it's kind of a classic 50s bungalow stairs coming down from the main floor then they go down to the basement it is a very elegant nice finished basement and even if you look at a kitchen like what they have these wood cabinets you could sand them down you could repaint them structurally they're actually in they look like they're in very good shape um, this may be actually there's a sewing machine right there I didn't see that when I looked through anyway this may not be that far off from something very usable uh, as far as a basement kitchen goes so um, these homes are pretty well built and I think I mentioned before you've got new shingles kind of the same as Wakefield uh, no garage whereas the other one has a garage I would argue the location is a little bit better over on Wakefield but kind of the same thing $5.99 good solid price for an option like this you could come in do some work live in it be happy and you've got a great backyard so interesting description on Barclay very bright naturally light sounds like a, a diet food anyway it's a more side it's 1580 square feet we just sold one in the 640s for more than asking so that still happens in the market uh, so 625 doesn't look too bad at all it's not in the same condition as the one that we sold it's still not bad at all so the layout is something that can be a little bit interesting because this was actually written in in the builders plans as a family room and then you had this um, this longer front room that was a living dining room but we do see what they've done here quite often where this larger room just becomes a family room and then you've got your dining room just off to the side because the kitchen is not quite wide enough to have a really good space for an eat-in table so having this room just off the kitchen oftentimes makes a lot of sense three bedrooms upstairs you've got laundry upstairs as well uh, all the rooms are decent size and then you've got a finished basement here too so there's a lot of good options right now for townhouses and today's list has two really good options the croft side and then this one here even this one here on Van Fleet, 649.9, I've always believed 650.000 is a better option just because it straddles two different price ranges. However, it's a 15, uh, just over 1,500 square foot hills view end. We have seen a couple of the nice hills views go for more than 650, uh, and then some have gone for a little bit less. This one looks like it's uh, it's in pretty good shape. They've replaced the carpets. I I don't know if that's that commercial grade carpet that's really very rough on your feet or if it's actually a much more plush version uh, hard to tell you've got that fisheye lens right there for that bedroom but uh, this one doesn't look too bad and the main floor has laminate floors but it looks like it's pretty good flooring hard to tell until you see it in person now there's not much else that I saw in the list except this one made me laugh so the uh, <laughs> This is crazy. 916 Holland Rake. Uh, it's a Tothberg model, 3,300 square feet. And <laughs> here's the part that made me laugh. Backyard shed. Sharon, you guys zoom in on this. Backyard shed can be used as a fifth bedroom. Now, I'm sure most of us have in-laws that would absolutely love us if we put them in the backyard shed uh unfortunately i don't know if that's a viable option anyway antique brass chandelier get ready for that and there's no pictures so i can't show you proof of it uh but let me tell you something the shed is where it's at for a bedroom 
Now, I think all the husbands can agree with me that at some point we would have all been invited to probably sleep in that shed at some point. However, that's what it is. Good way to round it out. Uh, if you have any questions, you want to see anything in this list, let us know. Buyer class Thursday. You can always come on a tour. Uh, you can get instant access to any homes that match your criteria by email. Uh, we have seller guides here. We've got a room by room review. We can come over, tell you the things you should and more importantly, shouldn't do. All that information is either over on that side or it's up there under offers on a mobile device. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.